The landing time of this flight was postponed three times due to aggravation of the situation in Kabul. The plane could not take off on time. This is the third flight that evacuated to Ukraine people from the country captured by the Taliban. There are not only rescued Ukrainians on board, but also journalists from Radio Liberty, The New York Times, The Wall Street Journal and USA Today. In total, 98 people. About half of them are Ukrainians. We have liberated probably the largest number of citizens of Ukraine from the very beginning of our evacuation flights. All this time we have been in touch with our international partners as well. At the moment, 50 more Ukrainians are waiting in Afghanistan to get back home. The Ukrainian foreign ministry promises that everyone who hopes for it will be taken out of Afghanistan with the help of international partners. We are confident that we will be able to evacuate all our citizens and all of them will soon stay in a safe place. First of all, it is another military board. The second option is the flight of another civilian charter flight, which will be sent to Kabul or another Afghan airport from the territory of one of the neighboring countries. The third is to use the aircraft that will fly under the flag of our international partners. This is the third flight evacuating our citizens and foreigners from Afghanistan. The first plane evacuated eight Ukrainians and more than 70 foreigners in the night of the 16th of August. Then the second plane was ready to take off, but due to security issues it stayed at the airport for a week. The second evacuation flight landed on Sunday, the 22nd of August. 83 people were brought to Ukraine, including 31 Ukrainians. Reported by Nick Starkov in Anasonyanka UATV News.